Hey guys, so today I thought I would do another little YouTube video and today I thought because it's the summer and I feel like some people feel the same way as I do when I say some days are just really boring in the summer. If either all your friends are working or you just don't have any plans for the day and you're kind of just stuck at home and you don't know what to do. I thought I would give you some inspiration. So let's begin with this video and I really hope that I help you guys have some fun on those summer days when, you know, you don't really know what to do. So, let's go. Okay. Guys, so first thing to do when you're bored. What I had just shown you was my necklace collection that I have made. So the thing is, is recently I have been trying to find some cool jewelry that I really love. And so I looked on websites and I found cool jewelry, but it was like $75 for these like funky little necklaces. And I was like, okay, sounds about right. I mean, you're like, people are like hand making them. So the price is right for that. But I can't justify spending that much on a piece of jewelry. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get some beads and make these necklaces because I want some of these. Like, they're cute, they're so cute. And so I go to the, the craft store and I get a bunch of beads and like string and this these little things and I start making necklaces and it becomes my literal main hobby and I really like doing it now. You can go to the craft store, you can go to the thrift store, you can get beads from a bunch of places and then just go and go crazy. Make some necklaces, have fun. You can make bracelets, earrings, like all that kind of stuff. And it's such a fun little thing to do when you're bored because you take the time to do it and then you actually get something out of it. Like you'll, you can wear them all the time and you can, you know, you can make it custom to what you like. And that's what I think is super cool about making jewelry. So that's why I recommend making jewelry. It's super fun. Like, here we go. This is like my the next necklace that I kind of want to make and it's gonna be super easy and I'll just do a little fast motion of me making it. Okay, so this is like just one of the examples of the necklaces that I've made. I think it's super good to find things from thrift stores because then you can just kind of deconstruct the necklace if you really like the beads, which is what I've done here. Okay, so I'll do a little necklace try on of all the ones that I've made. So we got this one, which is like with the repurposed metals and the kind of orangey red beads. Then we got this yellow one, which is pretty cool. I haven't worn this one yet because I made it like a few days ago, but this one's super cute. I think this one's like more fancy. Like, you know, this I would wear with like a long slip dress or something, um, but I like this one too. And then there's this one that I wore camping, but this one I like, it's like very like, gives me very beachy vibes. Okay, and then we have this one, which this one's like very statement necklace, I feel. And I really like this one. I haven't worn it yet, but I really would like to. I think it'll be very cute with like, like a plaid skirt and just like a simple top. I like like this kind of necklace just because I can wear a very, very simple top and it'll just be like very kinda, it'll still ha make the outfit look very cool. This is probably my second favorite one, my second favorite necklace um, that I've made and I, I absolutely love it. Okay, and then I'll show you my favorite one. Just because it goes with like everything and it's super pretty. So this is probably my favorite one, hold on. I've definitely worn this one the most because I find it just goes with 
so many things. I used a bunch of beads from my mom's necklace that had been broken. Her necklace was broken, so I just restrung it in the way that, kind of in the way that it was before, but I made it into like more of a choker. So this is one of the things that I like to do when I'm bored. And I'll show you guys a few more. Okay, so here's one of the tops that I have reworked. So pretty much this was just like a bigger tank top that didn't really fit me as well. And it also didn't have the star on it. So I sewed the black star onto this and made it fit a little bit better. And now I'm gonna wear it a lot more and I think it's super cute and I love it. And I'll show you guys another one. Here, okay. So here's another top that I made before it was actually like, an oversized t-shirt and I just cut it out to make it into a tank top. I followed this like TikTok um, tutorial, but I feel like there are definitely a lot of tutorials online if you look up how to make a tank top. And then you can just like, this is for if you have a sewing machine, if you don't, um, then it definitely will be a little more difficult, but I have a sewing machine and so I made this. Um, and I mean, I'm not the best at sewing, but I took a little bit of time and a little bit of effort and I made this top. Um, so now here's this top. The only problem I find now is just this like weird arm moment, um, which I might have to like, I'm not really sure how to deal with this because I'm not a huge sewer. Um, but this is how it looks now. I need to go over the sides a few more times and then that's pretty much it. But I like this a lot more and I'm definitely gonna wear it more, so. Yeah. All right, guys. Another thing I like to do when I'm bored is simply redecorate my walls. So I did this like a while ago and I really like it right now, so I'm not gonna change it, but if you guys like look at your room and you're like, I'm bored, I don't like this, then change it up. And that's what I did. And I feel like that's a little, little fun thing to do. You can go to the thrift store and get books, like picture books, and then cut out different, like, different like pictures that you think are kind of cool and just put them on your wall. That's what I did. Like this was from the thrift store, this, and like that, and like all that kind of stuff. And it's a fun thing to do. And I really like this wall right now. I don't know if I wanna bring all this stuff to Toronto or if I should just leave it here. Like, it's very beautiful. And I and I kinda wanna come home to this, you know? But that could look real cool at my place. So I'm probably just gonna bring it there. But then these walls are gonna be blank. I um, also got my clock there. Undoing my room is gonna be like the very, very last thing I do. Okay guys, another board in the house thing I like to do is go to the beach. Whether I can walk or drive, usually I like to drive because I'm too lazy to walk. But if you have like a beach, a lake, a swimming area near you, just go there, bring a book, listen to some music and it's so fun you can totally do that alone or even just like go for a walk in the forest sit somewhere listen to music and read or write like write in like a little notepad so that's what i like to do
Okay guys, so um, another thing that I like to do is write when I'm bored. So like, I mean, not particularly that much, but anyway, right now I'm like writing, it's kind of dramatic, but I'm writing this whole thing about my childhood and like how I'm like thankful for my parents and stuff like that before I leave because I feel like that's just like my way of like thanking people. Like, I don't know because I'm very grateful for like my life and my parents and all that stuff. So I'm just writing this letter to my parents before I leave. But I think it's just fun. Like, well, it's not fun. It actually makes me quite emotional, but I think it's like, I really enjoy writing and just kind of like reminiscing, just like writing your feelings and like journaling, just kind of talking about like the stuff that's going on in your life. And it's like, it might not always be fun. It's just like a good way to vent if you don't have anyone to talk to. So, yeah. Another thing I like to do when I'm bored, painting my nails. guys so that's what I like to do when I'm bored I hope you enjoyed my video and maybe you got some inspiration for what to do when you get bored um, but that's my video and I'll see you guys next time I post so bye